<clears throat> well, you gave me my truck today, left right out. Hey, I just want to talk about a few things. If you look at the market today, you can see that the 10 year, at one point, last time I checked, is at a little over 1.6. I mean, you're starting to see a little bit of pressure on that side, but the market is just acting completely exuberant. It's amazing to me how it uh, it's based supposedly on strong earnings, but if you really take and deflate those earnings with you know the uh, the current inflationary rate, they're really not that spectacular. And even so, you look at whose whose earnings they are. Um, but with that regard, man. I'm looking at the vol VIX, and it is getting pretty alarming to me that there is no sphere in the market right now. Like it is getting to the point where we're at peak uh, craziness, in my opinion. I mean, we have. I keep saying we're going to be at peak craziness. We're at peak craziness. We're at peak craziness, and it keeps getting to that point. We have all these dislocations in the economic uh, um, frontier that uh, that we have here in the country, but yet the market's priced. Uh, beyond perfection in my opinion and it just looks like uh like you're gonna have something that's gonna go just absolutely nuts when it does go nuts um i don't know what these guys are thinking i know there's free money and sloshing around in the banking system i understand all that and that it's almost riskless for them to invest right now uh but in, it, but even with somebody else's money which essentially that's what it is um, they are taking an inordinate amount of risk in this um, in this market right now. And that doesn't mean it's going to crash anytime soon. Like I said before, you can have a crash up. And that's to what you can see when you have extremely loose monetary policy. But here we go. Uh, you know, the Fed's supposed to be tapering anyway. So what are these guys thinking? Well, you have oil also. It's kind of, I believe it's flat today. Last I checked, it was 82 something. Um, it is very alarming to me. And I keep looking at Evergrande. Apparently, they made some payments to onshore. So that means domestic companies that are holding their debt. But the offshore guys, like everybody else outside China that holds any of this debt, uh, they're bracing for the default pretty much. Another Well, they've already missed some payments, so they're going to miss their payments. So they're just kind of – the government has kind of structured it. So, one, they continue operating. That's priority. Screw the debtors. And then now it's, uh, well, we can pay some of the debtors, but it'll be – domestic holders well you don't really blame them on that but if you're these other guys that are uh, holding on to this this paper you're kind of sol um <clears throat> a lot of people walking out over mandates which aren't even really mandates i don't the company's like almost an excuse because no law is just pretty much an edict and then even put it in an executive order last i checked but all these uh um companies they they seem to be putting this as policy local governments and people are walking out um, you know, by the thousands granted in the grand scheme of things is a small percentage, but when you are in this current state where you need people, it, you know, those, even that small percentage of people that have walked out or quit, it means, uh, it's, it plays a significant role, uh, economically when it comes to just maintaining, um, the supply of goods and services. So, man, I don't know what to tell you on that one. It's, uh, you know, people got to do it. The people live by principles. That's good. That's what I, I'll, I mean, rather see that than them just be very, you know, pragmatic about it and just go along, get along. Cause you know, interesting. Oh, the last thing, cause I was going to keep this one short. It's the last thing is I happened to stroll upon a Twitter exchange between one of the Australian uh, premiers or he's the head of one of the provinces and Ted Cruz and Ted Cruz, uh, made some interesting points about Australia. And it's if you haven't paid attention, obviously Australia has gone full totalitarian, authoritarian, beating people, showing up at their homes and unexpectedly over Facebook posts from months ago. Um, all sorts of nonsense. And, and then this guy has the goal to say that he'd rather not be in Texas and that zero people have died of COVID in his province. Maybe that is a case and that so many thousands have died in Texas and that they're free. I was like, they're, you're not free to do crap over there without the government say so. Um, and if you don't, if you don't get daddy government say so, then they might, you're liable to have somebody show up at your doorstep. Or if you're out at the wrong time or without a mask or someone happens to misdone fire, you, you could be beaten by your own people that are supposedly serving you. So, I would have replied, there are some things worse than death, and that is living in a perpetual state of 
fear, whether that be the, the virus we're talking about or your own government, which I would say that the, um, the former, the, the government, living in fear of the government is, is way worse than living in fear of some disease because uh, the government always finds more and more excuses to, to exert its power. And you don't just die from that. Well, you do sometimes, but you can be in a, you can be a prisoner in your own, uh, in your own country fairly easy with, uh, i.e. Australia, you know, so this guy doesn't, uh, this guy's peak absurd, absurdness. And I, uh, it's, I can't believe Australia has gone the way it has, but, uh, I think Ted Cruz is on something in Australia. It's you, we usually view as very independent, strong, uh, people. And, uh, and it, it appears as though, um, they've given too much responsibility to the government and not taken it upon themselves. And now they're reaping those rewards. Not to mention, you know, they don't have any guns. That also is a big player. If, you, if the populace in general, the law-abiding populace is not armed, then it's easy for the armed portion of that uh, populace, uh, whether that be criminals or whether that be the government themselves, to take what they will from the sheep. Anyway, left, right out. Talk to you later. Bye.